Big old thing floating in the water right there. That's a big gator right there. Nine to ten. You don't like me. Can't tell if that's a female or a male, but it might be actually a male. So this is they lay their eggs up in here. That is a big gator, y'all. That GoPro ain't gonna pick it up. Yeah, there he goes, goes under. There's another gator right here in front of me right there. Just trying a little bit for white bass here and hooked up right here, y'all. Little male. Definitely undersized, y'all. Got some here. It feels like a wet noodle. <laughs> a white bass. This might actually be a keeper. I don't know. This one's been caught before. Feels pretty good. Ain't fighting much. Ain't no head shakes. Pretty sure it's a white bass or something. Oh, it's a good sized one right here, y'all. It's a keeper. Ooh, that's a large one. He's barely hooked. in the boat it counts right y'all Ooh, i don't want to mess with those hooks i know for sure that's a keeper and it's our already starting to spawn right there there you go pretty got another one this one feels real good y'all what is that that is a giant white bass y'all ah he just fighting for the lark it's not a bad bass though Got another keeper. This one almost throated it, you know. I'm gonna have to do some surgery. There you go. Another keeper. Well, they ain't fighting real hard. Honestly, fighting like a a wet bag, y'all. This one's a little small. Well, I got a barge bite there. It's going into my stringer and all that here. That's a keeper for sure, y'all. Pretty little white bass, though. Birds right there. They always know where the fish are. Or at least they know where the bait is. So if you ain't got electronics and you're out for white bass and you're on a pretty big creek, these guys will show you everything you need to, need to know. You can also see the little minnows, little bait fish on the water too. You catch a couple more and call it a day, yo. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but there's a bunch of bait on top of the water. I think they're just like gulping for air or feeding or whatever the heck they're doing. Oh, there you go. Boom. Easy peasy. It's right where you can see where they're busting the bait. This one might be smaller though. Ah, uh, no, he's good size. He's good size. Definitely a keeper. Look at that, y'all. Pretty little fish. It's like easier than fishing for bluegill. <laughs> See those birds, those birds can see better uh, better than us into the water. So they know where the bait fish are and they wait, basically wait where the school is, a bait fish, and then the other fish try to knock them into that bird right there. And that's what they're looking for. That's why they're standing right there. There we go. That one hit it hard, y'all. <laughs> I know it didn't, doesn't take long at all. Oh, this one's got some, some fight in him. Woo. It's a pretty good size one here, y'all. This might be, uh, that's probably the biggest one of the day. Ooh, heavy. This one might be a female here. That's a chunk right there, y'all. That's a big white bass. That's about that's about thirty minutes of fishing right there, y'all. <laughs> So it's the next day, y'all. I went out. It's got. I got some free time today, and hope for some, for hoping for some crappie. But uh, I'm trolling for white bass as well. So they're buying. Uh, for sure, I ain't gonna be skunking today. <laughs> this is a little dink. There you go. Yeah, another one here. One might be a little smaller, but he hit it so hard. Stop struggling, buddy. I got you. This one feels pretty good, actually. Ah, he's kind of short. I'm gonna let him go. Holy cow. It's probably the smallest white bass I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm talking about that's the smallest white bass I've ever seen. Boy, I cannot let my rod down for 30 seconds. This one feels pretty good right here. Yeah, that's a keeper. Keeper right there, y'all. Ooh. There you go. Pretty white bass. This one feels a lot bigger. You never, you never could tell they're big or not, but I'm pretty sure this one. Keeper. Well, 
Boy, how do you do that? You got all the hooks on them. There you go. That's a keeper right there. So, this this is what I'm using, y'all. If you, I mean, if you're new to my channel, if you just recently started watching, it's just a cheap old Express H2O little crank bit, uh, crank bait, little square bill, and a, like a pearly color with a little yellow stripe through it. It's like a three dollar bait, y'all. And I'm talking about I've caught probably hundreds of fish on it already. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave all the dinks out of this video. <laughs> Got plenty of dinks. Just a few keepers. First crappie of the day. A little black crappie. Might be the only crappie of the day. <laughs> Seems like everybody else is skunking out on crappie. Now this is exactly why I got this four foot ten rod. Because I could just fish stuff like this here. The seven foot rod, you'd have to back out a little bit. Me, I'm just right on top of them. Let's see these dings here. Ow. Ooh, kind of crappy, y'all. Black crappy. It was right in the middle of the creek. <laughs> see if he keeps, y'all. Nope, oh, just hot, shy, quarter inch, y'all. Uh, crappie bites heating up, but I caught nothing but dinks. I mean, they're all they were all males, y'all. But the males start moving and uh, to their nest, start building their their nest and all that, guarding their nest uh, first. Then the females move up and and do their thing. I don't think it's that time yet over here, y'all. Uh, but it will be. Now I got a couple other lakes that I want to try out and. If y'all interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on this video and uh, stay tuned because there's a lot more fishing to come, y'all. A lot more spring fishing. There's one. They, they don't feel very big. Barely tapped it. Well, might be the smallest white bass ever. Show sure is. <laughs> Got one right here. Just a little one. Whoa. All right, y'all, that's it for the video. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. The white bass bite was on fire, but the crappie bite, not so much. Uh, I think I'm gonna head further east see if they're biting out there in the cypress swamps y'all uh, So stay tuned for that one uh, But if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you're new It keeps you up to date with all my stuff and it's absolutely free y'all catch y'all later